Hello everyone, today I will present you an unusual pick for ranked, Ezreal mid lane. We will go through everything you need to know in order for you to play him. Always keep in mind to actually practice it in normals and take everything you see everywhere with a grain of salt. Now let's answer two quick questions. Why should you pick Ezreal mid and when should I pick Ezreal mid? The first question, uh, why should I pick? Because he has a free flash on a small cooldown and the mid lane is much shorter so escapes are very simple to do. Not dying in a ranked game is a core part of self-improvement on League of Legends. If you play him with little tempo, he's extremely fun past core items, his ability to carry games in mid to late game gets close to a Cassidin, and he is much better than Cassidin early to mid, offering a large safety net. I myself already carried some games with Ezreal and uh, he's currently very strong and after you complete your first two items you kinda destroy the game. Considering the level changes in season 10 in mid lane and top lane, Ezreal will reach faster his damage potential comparing to an Ezreal ADC. Another fact that you should consider is that mid lane is so much more safe in general than an angry Leona and Draven combo on bot lane. Well, against assassins you'll still maybe struggle, but if you play smart and you keep the range and use your E right, you're much safer than against a support that full combos you and CCs you in place. Now, when should I pick Ezreal mid, you ask? Point 1. When your comp has some sort of AP champion, so you're not full AD. It is however not mandatory if the enemy team is full of squishy champions, as they will not build armor, at least early on. Point 2. When your comp has some sort of early jungler, so no Ivern or AP Shivana or stuff like that. Or even other champions in your team that are early game oriented and at least one of other lanes besides yours must have priority as in they should be on the winning side in general. And point 3. He's safe versus anything. If you are smart about your moves it takes a lot of effort to kill you. Now let's start the actual guide. I will post on the screen a cheat sheet with runes, summoners, spells and items and let's talk about each one in depth. For summoner spells I like to take barrier or exhaust on mid lane for extra survivability and sometimes teleport also works in super safe matchups or in late game scaling matchups. For runes you have to play with little tempo and go for presence of mind, lifesteal and cup the grace and for secondary I go either for mana flow and celerity or nimbus cloak or inspiration with Biscuits and Time Warp Tonic, again, depending on matchups, if you're against Assassins, they might work. Now for items, on first back get Tear, and after that Boots and Shin, go for Phage and complete Trinity Force, upgrade into Manamune, the Tear, and upgrade the Boots. Go for Blade of the Nuriate King next, and Mercurial, Garden Angel or Armor Pen based on your needs. Now these last items are situational, if you need Mercurial, get Mercurial, if you need Garden Angel, get Garden Angel, Armor Pen, or even uh, executioner calling based on needs again. If you need health reduce for the enemy heals, get that. You start to be strong in the mid game after 3 force and mana immune, so focus a lot on farming right in the first minutes. You want to max your Q first, then E and then W. Obviously get le uh, at level 6, 11 and 16 your ultimate. For micro gameplay, in the lane phase your goal is to survive and farm, that all. Occasionally you might get some plates and some snipes on bot lane with your ult. You need also to help your jungler if you can, but you are kind of a Cassidy, so you have to consider that. You are strong at levels 1 to 3 against most melee champions, and against range you can just Q from the far side. If your jungler ganks close to close the gap with your E, but be careful to a possible counter gang from the enemy jungler, so be smart about it. After Sheen and Tear, your poke damage increases considerably, so focus on that. After Mana Moon and 3 Force in teamfights, focus on, poke on poking with Q or W plus E on some target to deal a large burst. Don't randomly throw your ult and try to be smart with it. I see a lot of Ezreal, Draven players, Jinx, Ash players that just throw randomly their ults hoping to get something. Just practice it a bit, be smart with it, try to calculate where the enemy goes, don't just throw it there for... I don't know, be, be smart a bit about it. Don't do the mistake that the most Ezreal players do and auto attack between queues. I see a lot of Ezreal players in lower elo, they either miss their queues or don't auto attack in between them. 
Learn to keep a close eye on your equal-down as you need to kite a lot and practice kiting with every opportunity. Put some dummies and practice hitting W, E, Q and combos alike in the practice tool. Put it in the practice tool and hit your cues until you hit them because there are a lot of Ezreal players that have no idea how to hit a skill shot so you have to understand that as well. For micro gameplay you should always have an eye open for the low HP enemies for your ultimate and you should always ping when the enemy mid laner goes or roams. Use this time to get plates but be aware of the enemy jungler as well. Consider catching targets with Q, W, E combo over a wall. So basically just W, E and then Q and auto attack to them to death until they go down. And if you have, do, do this only if you have vision further away and you know it is safe. So do not randomly jump with E over a wall on a target and then get locked down. I've seen Ezreal do this mistake and just be a bit more aware in general of your surroundings so focus on the macro part as well somewhere in the mid game you can also start split pushing as you as you can tear down towers extremely fast and also you can one versus down now a lot more champions than in the early game so you'll be generally in top three or four champions in the game in that game as a power level. Finish games as you normally would on a Cassidy. out poke out scale and out damage the enemy team well not so much on out poke but you get the point Cassidy does not poke, but you, you generally have to out poke and then out damage the enemy team because you out scale them, so that's the logic. Also farming is extremely important until the mid game where you need your core items, after the core items you're just good to go. And I believe this is all you need to start trying him in normals and then in ranked if you feel you like it. If you never played Ezreal before consider doing at least 5 to 10 normal games before jumping in ranks as Ezreal and be careful about it because he's not a simple champion it is indeed a relatively safe one but not simple so you gotta be careful on that practice makes it perfect and go for it i am drumat and i really hope you enjoyed this type of informative content i try to make these videos sources of truth and also i try to clickbait them as little as i can and i will probably make at least one more video in this unusual pick series or two if i have some ideas i will do them and I'm trying, I'm trying to test these things before I actually post it, so uh, again, take it with a grain of salt, but generally I believe if you play it right they can be useful and I'm gonna do some more crazy ideas that I think they work or I test they work and I'm certain they work and I will show you they work. Yeah, so all good and see you next time, I really hope you enjoyed this, goodbye guys.